today I'm going to show you how to work up my butterfly flower garden square. Uh, this square works up to be about 8 inches. You're going to need a number 4 worsted weight yarn. Today I'm using Red Heart Super Saver in 3 different colors. I've got white, day glow, and butterfly. You're also going to need a US I9 5.50 millimeter hook. Getting started on our first round of work, start with your master color. I'll be using white and a magic ring. Now we want a total of three chains. So we've got our first one there, and then we'll chain two more. For chain three, that's going to count as our begin beginning double crochet. If you don't know how to work a magic ring, you can work a chain four and uh, work your stitches in the beginning chain. Uh, now you can work 11 double crochets in your ring. So there's one double crochet, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. So that should be twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You can tighten your ring. And then you can join with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. You can fasten off your yarn now. And that completes the first round of work. Getting started on round two of our work, for this round we're going to be working in between our double crochet stitches. And that those spaces there. So insert your hook and we're going to draw up our second alternate color, our first alternate color. And for this one I'm going to be using Day Glow and we can draw it up, chain one, and then we're going to cluster stitch in that same space. So yarn over, like this is a cluster stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have two loops on your hook now we want to do that two more times, so yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and then draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two, one, two. That's the first repeat for this round. Getting started on our second repeat, work a cluster stitch in between your double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two. One, two. That's the second repeat. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round. Uh, to make sure that you've got the right amount here, you want to make sure that you have 12 cluster stitches and a chain 2 space between each cluster stitch. And to finish off, you can join with a slip stitch to your beginning cluster stitch. If you look at it up at the top here, it looks like a stitch. You can insert your hook under those two strands of yarn there and do a slip stitch. And then you can fasten off. And that completes this round of work. 
Getting started on round three of our work, insert your hook into a chain two space and draw back up your master color. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now we're going to work three double crochet in our next chain two space. So one, two, and then three. And then in the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, three. Now we're going to chain two. One, two, and then work three more double crochet in that same chain two space. One, two, three. Okay, so that's our beginning repeat for this round. Getting started on your second repeat, we're going to work three double crochet in the next two chain two spaces. So three double crochet in this chain two space. Two, three, and then three double crochet in the next chain two space. One, two, three. Then in the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two, and then work three more double crochet in that same chain two space. So there's one, two, and then three. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished my last repeat and you'll notice that we have one double crochet in this last chain two space. We need to add two more double crochet to that same chain two space. So one and then two. You can join with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round four, remove your hook from your master color and insert a stitch marker into it. We're going to pick this back up in round five. So for round four, we're going to insert our hook into the second double crochet to the left of our master color. So here's our master color in this stitch. So count one, two stitches over. Insert your hook into that stitch. You're probably going to the right if you're a lefty. So, and here we're going to draw up our butterfly colored yarn. Chain one. And then we're going to work a cluster stitch in that same double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Do that two more times. Now you got four loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through all four of them. Chain two, one, two. Skip the next double crochet, working in the next, work a cluster stitch. So if you need help with the cluster stitch, you can watch round two again. There's our cluster stitch. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to skip the next two double crochets. And then we're going to skip our chain two space. And then we're going to skip this next double crochet. That's the beginning of our round. I'm going to get started on the repeat. So uh, for the, re the repeat of the round, in the next double crochet, we're going to work a cluster stitch. Okay, so there's our cluster stitch. We're going to chain two, one, 
two, skip the next double crochet, working in the next, we're going to work a cluster stitch again. Chain three, one, two, three. <clears throat> skip three double crochets, one, two, three, working in the next, work a cluster stitch. One, two, three, so you got four loops on your hook. Oops, almost lost that one. Chain two, one, two, skip the next double crochet, working in the next, work a cluster stitch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next two double crochet, skip the chain two space, and skip your next double crochet. That's the repeat for this round. Repeat it around two more times, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. So we're working in the next stitch right here. Now before, we join this round, we want to make sure that we bring our master color to the front of our work so that we can continue to the next round. So in the next stitch, we're working a cluster stitch. Chain two, one, two. Skip the next double crochet. Working in the next, work cluster stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, with our master color in the front here. We're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning cluster stitch. Remember at the top here, there's those two strands of yarn you can insert your hook under and join with a slip stitch. And you can fasten off your alternate color. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round five of our work, we're going to insert our hook back into our master color. Now, we're going to work our stitches in round three, and the double crochets from round three. And we're not going to work over round four unless we're, we need to. So to get started, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to half double crochet in that same stitch. Now, when you work this stitch, make sure that you do not work over round four. So we're working a half double crochet. So we have two half double crochets in that same double crochet here. And then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip the next double crochet here, because remember we're working in the double crochets from round three, so we're going to skip this one. We're going to skip the next. We're going to work a half double crochet in the next double crochet, so this one right here. We're going to work in that one, we're going to work a half double crochet, and for this one, we're going to work over our chain five space. So that's a half double crochet there, oops. <laughs> now in our chain two space here, we're going to work two half double crochet, making to work over that chain five. So two half double crochets, there's one, two, now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work two half double crochet in that same chain two space, making sure to work over top of that chain five. So there's one, and then two. Okay, so that's the beginning of our round. The repeat for this round, we're going to chain four, one, 
two, three, four. We're going to skip that next double crochet. We're going to skip the next double crochet working in the center one here. Work three half double crochet in that next double crochet. Making sure not to work over chain two from there. So one, two, and then three. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the next double crochet. Skip the double crochet between your cluster stitches. Skip the next double crochet. Working in the next, work a half double crochet. Working in your chain, spa chain two space, you gotta make sure all these stitches in this corner are worked over your chain five. So work two half double crochet in that chain two space. One, two, chain two, one, two, and then work two more stitches in that same chain two space. And all my stitches are worked over that chain five as well. That's the repeat. Repeat that across two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to work a half double crochet in that same double crochet as our beginning two half double crochets. So that makes three. And then we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet. Making sure that we didn't work over that chain two from the previous round. So that completes this round of work. Getting started on round six of our work, remove your hook and put a stitch marker in your master color. We're going to pick it back up again in round seven. So for this round, we wanna work in the chain two space from round four. Uh, we're going to insert our hook into the one to the left of our master color. So here's our master color. We're going in the left. If you're a lefty, you're going to the right. So we're going, and that's the only spot that we're going to be working in are these chain, chain two spaces. Make sure you don't work over the chain four space here. So with our hook in just the chain two space, we're going to draw back up our second alternate color, which was butterfly. And we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Work two double crochet in that same chain two space. One, two. Chain two, one, two, now work three double crochet in that same chain two space. So one, two, and then three. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Working in the net, or that there, I believe is our, the beginning of our round. Okay, so now we're going to get started on the repeat. This is our repeat for the round. We're going to work three double crochet in the next chain two space. So three double crochets, one, two, and then three, chain two, one, two, and then work three double crochet in that same chain two space. One, two, three. We're going to chain two, one, two, working in the next chain two space from round four, work three double crochets. One, oops, two, and then three, chain two, one, two. Work three double crochet in that same chain two space. One, two, and then three. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the repeat for this round. Repeat that two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. 
Here we are at the end of the round. I just need to work in the last chain two space, three double crochet. So one, two, three, chain two, one, two, and work three double crochet in that same chain two space. So one, two, three, chain two, one, two. Now before fastening off, you want to bring your master color to the front of your work so you can pick it back up in the next round. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. And you can fasten off and draw up your yarn. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round seven of our work, we can insert our hook back into our master color, remove the stitch marker, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then, <clears throat> then we're going to double crochet in that same half double crochet, making sure not to work over our chain two back here. So we're going to work a half double or sorry, a double crochet in here. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, single crochet in the chain two space between your three double crochet shells here. Chain two, one, two. We're going to skip the next two half double crochets here, working in the third, making sure to work over your chain five space. We're going to work a double crochet. Now in our corner chain space here, we're going to work four double crochets, making sure to work over that chain five space. So one, two, three, four. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work three double crochet in that same chain two space. So one double crochet, two, and then three. That's the beginning of our round. I'm going to show you the repeat for this round. To work the repeat, work a chain two, one, two, single crochet in the chain two space between your shells, chain two, one, two. Now working in the center half double crochet making sure not to work over that chain two. We're going to work two double crochets. So you want to make sure that rounds push to the back. So two double crochets in there. Chain two, one, two. Single crochet in the chain two space between your shells. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to skip the next two half double crochet here, working in the next, we're going to work a double crochet. And we're making sure to work over that chain five space in the corner. In our chain two space, working over the chain five, we're going to work four double crochets. One, two, three, and then four chain two, one, two, and then work three double crochet in that same chain two space. There's one, two, and then three. That's the repeat. Repeat that two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round, chain two, Single crochet in that next chain two space between your shells. Chain two, one, two, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round eight of our work, chain one, single crochet in that same double crochet, and then we're going to single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So we're going to single crochet in this double crochet and then we have two chains here so we can work two single crochets in that space there. We have a single crochet so we're going to single crochet in that one. Then we're going to work two in our chain two space. One, 
two, so how many have we worked so far? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. Oops. Then in our chain two space here, we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet in that same stitch. Getting started on the repeat for this round, we're going to work a single crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. So we have three double crochets here. Work two in your chain two space. Work one in your single crochet. Two in your chain two space. One, two. Work one in each of the next two double crochets. <clears throat> Work two in your chain two space, one, two, work one in a single crochet, two in the next chain two space, one, two, and then you can work five in the last five double crochets. Sorry, sorry, one in each of the next five. <laughs> there you go. And then in the corner we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. That's the repeat for this round. Repeat this around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round and we need to work a single crochet in the last eight stitches. So one, two, three, work two in the chain two space. So that's four, five, one in the single crochet, so that's six, and then seven, eight. You can join with a slip stitch to your beginning single crochet, and that completes this round of work. Getting started on round nine of our work, chain one, and then work a single crochet in that same single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet in the next 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then in our single, or sorry, our chain space on the corner, we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same chain one space. That's our first, the beginning of our round. I'll show you the repeat. We're going to work a single crochet in each of the next 22 single crochets. So pretty easy. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. And then our, our corner in our chain space there, we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same chain space. That's the repeat. Repeat that two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. We just need to work a single crochet in each of the last nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. And then you can Join with a slip stitch to your beginning single crochet. Fasten off. And that completes the square. You just need to weave in your ends. And you can also check out my tutorial online on how to add the butterfly bodies. You start in here. That is my butterfly flower garden square. For more crochet patterns, tutorials, and yarn shop, please visit my blog, dearestdebbie.com.